Hello drone video fans, this is the ninth video in my series of videos on the covered bridges of Ashtabula County, Ohio. Um, this is the Doyle Road Bridge, which is located um, in Jefferson Township of Ashtabula County. It was built in uh, 19, I'm sorry, 1868. 1868 uh, was the final year of the presidency of Andrew Johnson who um, assumed the position of president after the assassination of uh, President Lincoln. He was the uh, first American president to be impeached. Uh, just a little fact, uh, hist historical fact I threw, threw in for the time period of the uh, building and construction of uh, this particular bridge to kind of put it in uh, to uh, context. So we're uh, kind of uh, uh, lining up and getting ready here to uh, take a, a view of the top of the bridge. Um, uh, at, up to this point there hadn't been much traffic but uh, as you'll see later on uh, things uh, started picking up as uh, apparently the sleepy uh, countryside uh, started waking up. As we uh, go over the top of this bridge uh, you'll see that uh, on either side the, the trees are, are fairly close and I uh, needed to uh, keep things uh, um, pretty much right uh, in, in center so that uh, I wouldn't run into any of those branches that were some of, some of them of which were overhanging the uh, the uh, roof of the bridge. Uh, the bri the roof of the bridge, uh, as you can see, several of the uh, shingles on the top of it uh, are in need of repair. Um, I'm sure that the uh, county officials don't know about it because they have no way of seeing this unless they do a bridge inspection so I may send a, uh, an email to the uh, Ashtabula uh, County uh, uh, people in order to uh, inform them of the, the need. Uh, again you can see how close these, uh, these uh, branches are. There's an eastern look of the uh, Mill Creek uh, which this uh, bridge runs over. Mill, Mill Creek is a tributary of the Grand River and we're going to get a, a little bit better look at it now as I go back down and center myself over the uh, bridge and then uh, pan towards the east to uh, get a, a better look at the, uh, at the uh, uh, Mill Creek. Um, Mill Creek as you can see uh, is uh, uh, very calm, very placid, uh, almost doesn't even look like it's running. And you all can, also can see, perhaps uh, in this shot, a couple of wires that run across the Mill Creek that I had to deal with later. There's a farmhouse uh, off in the distance. Uh, and uh, again, as we continue to pan here and look towards the west, we can see uh, uh, again how placid and um, calm the, the the water is and surrounded uh, by uh, you know a lot of trees on uh, either side um, so n now that we've gotten a, a good look at the uh, the surrounding area I'm going to uh, continue fly back over the uh, the bridge then drop down <clears throat> and get ready to uh, make a uh, uh, a turn and, and go back and maybe do a little shoot of the uh, Mill Creek itself. Uh, there were several times during this shoot that I had to uh, stop, pause, edit out uh, cars that were, that were going by. So here we can see the uh, there were branches uh, below me, branches to the left of me, bridges to the right of me. Uh, branches over underneath me, over the top of me, and so I kind of had to inch my way forward here and make sure that I didn't hit anything and plop my uh, phantom down into the uh, into the creek. But um, slow but sure, uh, we we made it through. Now, as I turn here, you can see those wires running right across. So we have to drop down carefully a little bit to get low enough in altitude to make sure that we're underneath those wires. Then we can proceed safely uh, down the uh, down the stream or down the creek, 
and it would be uh, I think it would be really nice to have a picnic like right on the shore on the right hand side there but unfortunately that's private property but I don't know maybe you could do it on the uh, left hand side uh, which is uh, public property I, I believe but you can see how peaceful the, the water is and here comes a branch uh, right in my way from and I didn't want to uh, chance uh, going around it so uh, we called it good going in that direction turned around and uh, aimed and faced the uh, the bridge itself showing its 94 foot span um, and the cutouts made for uh, the lower windows which allow in the light and fresh air plus the upper cutouts uh, for uh, circulation and ventilation of the uh, roofing timbers now we're uh, heading back and at this point I'm thinking oh it would be really cool if I could just you know fly right underneath that bridge and come out on the other side but I, I realized that there was a lot of trees and low-hanging branches and um, I decided <laughs> I decided against going underneath it and just um, gained a little altitude here so that I would be able to pan back and forth and show the the full uh, length of the exterior exterior of this the eastern side of the bridge um, again you can see the, the lattice structure this bridge being uh, of town lattice construction we've seen several of those in the series and uh, this is looking down to the south and as we pan this way we'll be looking towards the north and see me uh, standing there um, look ha having a, uh, a look now I'm, I'm concentrating heavily to uh, be able to dodge past all these branches and uh, get get it back safely on the road and just as I was doing this uh, wouldn't you know it along comes another vehicle so uh, we did a little cut there at, at it to, to get that out now we're back over the uh, road and we're gonna turn around and get ready to make a pass through the uh, bridge and point out some of its uh, interesting uh, construction features as I mentioned this is a, a town lattice uh, construction it's all wood um, there's one metal uh, rail down the, down the center and the floor is uh, wood um, you see the lattice work of the uh, beams along the, along the side they're crisscrossed and those beams once we turn and look at them uh, you'll see that the there was holes drilled in them and they were uh, held together with pegs or dowels you also see the arches on either side those arches were added uh, uh, those laminated arches were added in 1987 during a renovation and let's see we have to move over here uh, because uh, here comes another car but, well before the car comes I was able to turn you can see some of the holes uh, there uh, that were visible f from the missing pegs uh, and now I believe the car goes by yeah there she goes <laughs> uh, so at this point I says well how many more cars am I going to run into so I I decided to quickly uh, exit uh, out the uh, southern end of the of the bridge and uh, get a few shots of the uh, southern side, which is uh, was uh, kind of in the early morning sunlight here, and uh, it's it's lit up very well, and uh, you'll be able to see it as soon as I turn around here and and uh, face the uh, southern um, entrance to the bridge. This bridge is, has a winding road that leads into it, and on the other side, a winding road leads away from it. So you really have to uh, be uh, going about 10 or 15 miles an hour uh, as you approach and exit the bridge. You can see the sign on the bridge right below the uh, wagon wheel that shows that the maximum allowable height for a vehicle is 13 feet 3 inches. and. Uh, I guess that's adequate for, for the traffic that goes through here. Uh, now we're dropping down and we're going to um, go through the bridge and uh, look again on the um, lattice uh, timbers uh, for holes uh, that you'll see. They're perfectly round little holes that were made to uh, pin those um, um, board members together and they were using dowels. A lot of them are there. You'll, you'll see that those little round holes are filled with dowels or 
um, you know, plugs, but there are s several, okay, there was a net for another car passing, uh, but a lot of them you see little holes, openings there where um, uh, the dowel or peg is, uh, is missing. Of course, there's going to be graffiti on the inside of a bridge like in uh, just about any place that you uh, uh, pass, but um, uh, that's how it is even out in the country. So this is the, the Doyle Bridge, uh, Doyle Road Bridge. It's uh, uh, a 94-foot span over Mill Creek, and uh, it's in Ashtabula County, uh, Jefferson Township. It's a very nice place to uh, visit. We've got ample parking over here for several vehicles. Uh, if you get a chance to come out uh, and uh, visit, it's, uh, it's one that's uh, very nice uh, uh, to visit because it's uh, so peaceful and serene out here. Hope you enjoy the video. There'll be uh, more coming up in uh, the near future. Thanks for watching.